Hey everyone, did you see the latest real estate news last week? It was all over the headlines and it was talking about how home sales were the lowest in the past 30 years. I'm Kathy Ahrens with Keller Williams and thought I'd talk a little bit about that today and give you a market update. So like I said, it, the news was that the home sales were the lowest in the last 30 years and that year over year they were down 19% from the year before. Well, what does that mean? That just means that there were fewer home sales last year than in previous years and the reason for that, as a lot of you know, is we just have a lack of inventory. We don't have that many homes to sell. It's not that people were choosing not to buy, it's that there weren't very many homes to choose from. Um, and because of that, we still saw an increase in prices year over year. So the article and the news last week talked about nationally what was going on, which was that we have about a three and a half month supply of home sales on the market. What that means is if everyone who's out there looking purchase a home in three and a half months, we'd go through the supply that we have. And of those sales, about 30% of them were in cash. Well, that's all really interesting news, but what's more important to us is what's going on in our local market. So if we think about those stats and look at it locally, I broke it down here on this chart to talk about. So in the Baltimore metro region, which includes all the counties plus Baltimore City, what we saw was a home sale prices actually increased year over year, just like they did nationally. And again, for the same reasons, lack of inventory, we didn't have a whole lot to choose from. So typically there was competition for those homes. In the Baltimore region, we saw home sale prices go up about three and a half percent. And the average days on market were about 23 days. So that's how long it took for the home to get sold if we look at all of them together. Um, cash buyers, there were a lot of them. There were 22% of cash buyers across the Baltimore region. Now, one thing to keep in mind there is that some of those are investors so that they always have a higher amount of cash sales than the regular purchase owner who's looking to live in the home. So let's compare that to the local counties. And what we saw was year over year that home sale prices went up about five to six percent. So that would be, you know, the local counties surrounding Baltimore region and that the houses typically stayed on the market for 16 to 20 days. Now, that's average. If you know anyone who's been looking or you yourself bought a home last year, in reality, a lot of times the home sold in seven days or less and with multiple offers. And we saw that in pricing. You know, over the course of the year, home prices typically, what they were listed at and what they were sold in comparison were at full price or above, and usually up to one to 2% above. In really competitive regions, we saw home prices could be 10% above what they were listed at is what it actually sold for. Um, and cash buyers in the area and the counties were about 16% of buyers. So all this says is there is a lot of competition, but what's the good news? The good news is for sellers, it's a great time to sell your house because there are people out there looking, they don't have a lot to choose from, so your house is gonna get a lot of attention. What's the good news for buyers? Interest rates have come down some. So, you know, when we saw a high of, you know, in the mid sevens pushing 8%, now we're back in the middle sixes. So that's really created a little bit of leeway for buyers to kind of step back into the market. We still see the high prices, but we don't see any huge changes that are gonna say that those prices are gonna go down just based on what we're seeing right now. Because locally, we only have a one month supply of housing, whereas nationally we said it's about three months. Locally, it's only a little over one month supply. We just don't have a lot of inventory. So if that continues, um, in the future, then we're not going to see any price adjustments on the low end. Now, of course, things can always change. This is just as we analyze the data, what we're seeing right now. So if you have further questions about this, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you about it and um, we'd be happy to chat. Take care.